Imagine a missile so fast so maneuverable that intercepting it is nearly impossible. That's Russia's Kinzhal hypersonic missile. Now South Korea is developing its own version, an analog. But what exactly does that mean? Why is it crucial? The KH-47 M2 Kinzhal, nicknamed Dagger, is a Russian air-launched ballistic missile that can reach up to Mach 10 and has a range of around 460 kilometers. It can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, launched from aircraft like the MiG-31K or 222M3. Its speed, erratic flight path, and launch flexibility make it a nightmare for existing defense systems, particularly the Patriot and Aegis systems. South Korea has watched these developments closely, with North Korea accelerating its missile program, Seoul wants missile sovereignty. That's where HICOR comes in. Led by ADD and Hanwha since 2018, it's meant to be a domestically developed, ground-launched, hypersonic cruise missile. A prototype was expected to test by 2022, combining a two-stage booster and scramjet engine, achieving speeds above Mach 6.2. Kinzhal is air-launched and aeroballistic, while HICOR is ground-launched and cruise-type. But both offer rapid high-speed strike capability. Calling HICOR a Kinzhal analog means matching its threat profile and strategic effect, not copying designs. This development shifts the strategic balance. HICOR would give Seoul the ability to strike high-value targets at hypersonic speeds. It also fuels regional dynamics and aligns with South Korea's kill chain and KMPR strategies for swift retaliation. Right now, HICOR is still under development with limited public data on its progress. But the intent is clear. South Korea wants to enter the hypersonic era on its terms. This isn't just technological, it's strategic independence. In a world where speed and unpredictability are everything, hypersonic weapons could redefine how wars are fought. So, what's next? Monitoring flight tests, integration plans, and regional responses will be key. If you found this breakdown helpful, share it with friends. Defense tech matters more than you might think.